I can think about is Neve. Whatever's happened, don't push them away. You're drunk, Tom. Get the fuck I want you to tell me about Neve. Has anything bad ever happened at Keaton Hall? You can see me. Yeah! Stop struggling! What are you doing? If I find the bell, it might trigger something. I might remember more about what happened. What bell? Shit. You wouldn't just leave it in a drawer. We have to get out of here. It's not safe for you either. What are you talking about? Me? What happened at the hotel? That's where I died. Are you sure? I felt him strangling me. Then he was there. Who? No, oh, I'm so sorry. You're wrong. I wish I was. We can't talk here if you find My dad? He's telling me that my dad... He killed me. No way. Please, we have to go. Oh, stop, stop! Why did you think it was him? I could see it in his face. He tried to stop me, but I got away. Wait, he can't even see you! He can now. I don't know why. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Maybe he's always seen me. But he would have said something or, or reacted. Let me open the door. I need this. Doesn't make any sense. Let me out! in those woods, it's messing with your head. It's showing you things that aren't real. Dad's not violent. He killed me. I remember what it felt like. His belt around my neck, it was thick leather. But do you remember him? No, because he fucking drugged me. You can't keep doing this, Neve, picking someone and deciding they're guilty based on a feeling. A few days ago, you were sure it was Joe. This is different. Joe didn't do it, and neither did Dad. He attacked me. The room went crazy. We, we, we fought and he tried to stop Neve, me from leaving. Calm down. I need you to go to the police. And say what? <laughs> 
sorry, I'm late. I've been busy anyway. Is everything okay? What's happened? Where is she now? Don't know. Could be anywhere. She, she comes and goes. Same as ever. <laughs> but if she walked in here right now, you'd see her. What does she look like? Same. Ghost or <laughs> well, she's she's as solid as you and me. She's not a ghost. Then what is she? I don't understand it either. It's like she's she's not gone. She's not alive. She's somewhere in between them. Wherever that is, I can see her. What makes you so special? Shall I I've so wanted to share this with you. I worry about her. But she's seen things that nobody should have to deal with. Like, she was there at the lake when, when we found her. She was in the room when they did the post-mortem. Jesus Christ. Can she remember what happened? No, she's, she thinks it's because she was drugged, but... I think there's something else going on. What does she do when she's here? She's trying to understand like us. You do know how insane this all sounds. Yeah. I'm a regular nutcase. Welcome to the club. Marie didn't come home. Well, she texted. She's staying somewhere else tonight, cooling off. Okay. Because of me. Uh, made the mistake of checking my emails. First time in days. I'll let you get back to it. Okay. to go.
about to come looking for you. Your mum and I have been talking. It's William Wyatt. What? William Wyatt killed me with his belt. I swear it's true. He found me at the hotel last night. He attacked me. William. Why? I knew he didn't like me. Joe always said it was because I stood up to him, but I think he knew how good I was. He hated it. He can't do this for fucking motocross. Joe and those races are all he cares about. He's obsessed. Right, well, we need to go to the police. We have got proof you'll just look crazy. For what, then? Joe and Michael might know something. Leave them all a cop. Take your keys. Maria, where did you stay? Tom's. You're fucking kidding me. I stayed in the spare room. We were just talking. Well, why his spare room? I don't know. Just... He's the only one who knows how it feels. Look, there's nothing going on. I just need a few days to... Neve was mine too. Maybe not by blood, but I was the one picking her up from school. Going to parents' evenings, patching her up when she fell off her bike. How dare you say I don't know how it feels? I didn't mean that you did. In the fucking pub. Daniel. I have tried so hard to support you. I have done everything you asked. But I am sick of you acting like I'm some sort of bystander in all this. Like I didn't love her. Like I don't miss her every day. I need you to be straight with me, because I've been here before. If you're not coming back to us, I need to know. I can't see the kids go through that again. I know. How are they? You don't get it both ways. Just sort this out. Come on. What's that? Nothing you need to worry about. Morning. Alex, can you sit down, please? Why? We just want to chat. Your dad told me about last night. What about it? You were drinking, acting erratically, not being yourself. Look, we think it will be good. If you saw someone, a professional. I don't need an intervention. Just someone to speak to. I had a few drinks at the club. So what, I'm not 12. It's not just the drinking. I don't even know where this is coming from. I barely saw you last night. You left right after I spoke to you about the hotel. You're never home. What are you doing all day? 
Nothing, just walking. I spent enough time staring at walls. Where? The woods, mostly. Why does it matter? We've seen you talking to yourself. It's not normal. Everyone does that sometimes. Not full-blown conversations. Whatever's going on here, I don't need professional help. Looking for a screwdriver? A hinge on the rabbit hutch is loose. Screwdrivers are right there. Oh, right. Yeah. What'd you do to your hand? I scratched myself. It's nothing. Where'd you go last night, after the club? I went to pick up your mum. You got any other questions? I'll sort it for you. I guess you think I'm too unstable to handle sharp objects. <laughs> All right, Tom. Nice when the renovation got a bit much. One perker living in a caravan. New view whenever you feel like it. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah. Just, um, yeah, just, just wanted to say thanks for yesterday. I've not had a drink since. Oh, that's great. Bet you feel a bit rough, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, William's not about, is he? No. Why, do you need him for something? No, just, uh, just want to talk about him. Between us. Start with Joe. Hey, Joe. Um, he wasn't at a party. The other night, me, um... No. And did you see him that night? I was in Hayeswood. Had a meeting about the hall, didn't get back till the morning. Why? Uh, You're just trying to remember. I'm just trying to remember. My, my memory's not great. Um, um, so where were you then, that night? At home, I guess. Tom, what are you trying to say? Um... You know, I reckon you should go home, mate. It's the best place to be when you're withdrawing. Yeah. Get some rest. What the fuck's he playing? Oh, I'm sorry. I've got a splitting headache. I can't think straight. You stop drinking? Yeah. Come and sleep it off.
I believe you. My whole life, all I ever wanted was his approval. And now it's like, I can't bear to look at him. I'm sorry. I want to help finish this. Neve! You don't need to hide! I just want to talk! All right, Joe. Have you spoken to Tom today? No. Why? All right. Some bastard stole the tools out of my van. If you hear anything... If you have no problem with that, I will fill out a report. Hello, Tom. Hi. You wanted to see me? Um, yeah. Thing is, I, I remembered something about the night of the party. Uh, do you want to come through? No, I'll, I'll, I'll be quick. It's William Wyatt. Sorry? That's who you need to be looking at. William had a, an alibi for that night. He was at home. No, he wasn't. He couldn't have been because he was there with Neve. You saw them together? Yeah. Well, where? What time? Um, just before midnight by the fire. That's all I remember. I just. He was definitely with Neve, definitely. Tom, are you, are you feeling okay? Just check out that alibi. So what sort of questions was he asking? Just stuff about Neve. Doesn't make much sense, though. I think the poor bloke's losing it. Found him passed out on a park bench the other night. He was saying he still sees her. Neve. Reckon she speaks to him. Jesus. I think it's the guilt, you know? You'd be the first to say he wasn't much of a dad. God knows what else he's capable of. Just, like, stay clear of him. All right? Good lad. Sit down for a sec. I was going to go and do some Just work. Just sit. Please. Alex said no. I want to talk about that night. After the championship. You mean when Neve was? And yeah, what about it? What do you remember? Uh, we had dinner, watched a crap film, and uh, I went to bed. And then what? The morning came and all hell broke loose. You see, the thing is... I really don't think we should be raking this up. It was uh, a shit day, and I would rather just forget about it, and it's, like, it's not good for you. Living with this case, 24-7, you no, know, bringing it home. It's not good for us. No. I'll worry about you. No. Sorry, what? 
We're not doing this here. Oh, yes, we are. I want to hear it all. Alex. I want Alex to hear it. Every detail. Explain it to me, Dad. What the hell is going on with you two? Alex! I know you can see her. Thought you needed therapy, or maybe you need sectioning. He's scared. William Wyatt, the big man around town, is fucking terrified. I want the truth. Tell me what happened that night. Dad! I am not going to tolerate this bullshit, Alex. You put your mother through enough. You're a murderer. I'll never let you forget that. You can't kill me twice. Shut up! Shut up! Tell me the truth, Dad! Get up the truth. Tell me what Just happened, Dad! Just tell her! Just get away from me! Just get the fuck away from me! William! You need to calm down right now! I won't have it! Thanks. I just needed them to see that. something to do with what happened with Neve. He's lied before, Mum. And he made me lie to you. And the police. About Neve? You don't have to do this. About the accident. It wasn't just my fault. What are you talking about? Joe was messing about, telling me to go faster, and he covered my eyes. I couldn't see. That's why I lost control. He said there's no point both of us getting in trouble. Joe had too much potential to throw it away. Why didn't you tell me? Because he always taught me to keep my head down. To do whatever I could to fit in. And that when I didn't, I'd cause trouble. You should never have to feel that way. But I did. You can't trust him, Mum. He's hiding something. <laughs> Mum. What do you know? That night, when Neve was killed, I woke up and your dad wasn't next to me. Everything all right? Yeah, I just wanted to talk to you about something. In private. I want her to stay. And I've had a witness come forward. Um, and I just wanted to chat to you about this story. What story? Tom Reese has claimed he saw William at the party the night Neve Caddy was murdered. 
Uh, William said he was here all night, so... I mean, I know Tom's unreliable at the best of times, but um, I thought I should check it out anyway. Tick the box, you know? I swear to God, Tom, if you're just stringing me along... I'm not. What's happened? William Wyatt killed Neve. Police are looking into it, whatever that means. <sighs> I want to go around there and kill him myself. Is this your way of keeping me here? No, no, no. I swear, I'm not. We know you weren't at home with Christine. She's confirmed to us she woke at around 2 a.m. and you weren't in the house. I was in the bathroom. She doesn't think so. And we have an eyewitness who says they saw you at the rave that night with Neve Kelly. Diana, this is bloody ridiculous. Were you with Neve that night? Nope. So where were you when your wife woke up? This makes you look stupid. Did you know that? I have to take every lead seriously. This isn't a lead. This is someone taking a piss in the middle of the night. You're embarrassing yourself. And you're embarrassing Christine. I thought you were supposed to be a friend. Oh, I am. And as her friend, I've never understood what she saw in you. Because I know exactly what kind of man you are. Are you sure it was Tom Rees? 100%. He was whispering to that cop. I saw them. This is bullshit. But I better get down to the station. I'll come with you. No, mate. I'll handle it. Tom turned up earlier talking shit. Asking where Uncle William was the night it happened. He wasn't even there that night, was he? I didn't see him. He reckons Tom's losing it because he feels guilty about being a shit dad. What if that's not what he's feeling guilty about? What if he killed Neve? Tom is fucking stupid. Asking weird questions, trying to point the finger, running off to the cops to tell tales. Sounds pretty fucking suspicious to me. I say we find Tom Reese and get some answers. Burns. Come on, mate. I don't know. Remember what he said to us about loyalty and trust, about having each other's backs. That's what he needs from us right now. That's what he needs from you. Yeah, I'm for just making things worse. Hmm. Don't be a pussy. Let's go. Hey, 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 we should stay out of this. I know what it's like to be dragged in by the cops. Someone's got to do something. No one's telling me anything, Daniel. It does sound like he's being questioned. Right, so you haven't heard anything? Come 
lads. You tell us. You shot William to the cops, didn't you? Yeah, well, you need to ask him about that. Yeah, we're asking you, because you're stitching up our mate. Now, why would that be? Joe, tell these idiots to piss off. Why were you asking questions before? You know Uncle Will wasn't at the party. Yes, he was. He killed Neve. <laughs> No, he didn't. You did, you sick fuck. Sorry, Joe, but that's the truth. Well, you had no reason to kill her. But he did. I don't know, all he cares about is that bloody club and you. Maybe Neve was a threat to the championship. All right, so it's my fault. Calm down. Oh, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah, you are. Joe, Just don't do this. Go on, you idiot. You fucking liar! Get to the police! Get off him! Get the fuck off him! What are you doing, Joseph? Get off this property before I call the police. Go on! You would. I don't deserve any sympathy. Especially not from you. None of this is your fault. Why are we still talking about him? It's done. You're free. So am I. Yeah. I thought that's how I'd feel, but... I don't know. Don't feel anything. <laughs> I know what we should do. You sure about this? Commit to it.
Asking, I, you wouldn't drop it. You gave me too much. That's why I can't remember Richard, anything. Richard, the same amount. I'm sorry, but that's why I couldn't fight him off. <laughs> why didn't you tell me? Because I knew you'd feel like this. <laughs> you were the one. You were the one person I trusted. You can trust me. <laughs> I chose you over my dad. Neve, I didn't know how to tell you. Neve! Just don't! Neve! 